All right, guys, so the next video we're going to be watching is Brian Cranston Answers Your Questions. Now, I'm a fan of Breaking Bad, uh, and uh, even when he was in uh, Malcolm in the Middle, uh, I, I think Brian Cranston is a great actor. So I want to see how he goes about some of these questions, if he gets asked some wild stuff. You, Brian Cranston here. Today, I'm going undercover on the Internet. Yes, it is actually me. Would people... Do people not think it's him? God, that is bright. Twitter. From Derpa's Glass Art, Brian Cranston always take his pants off. Malcolm in the middle, Breaking Bad, man just wants to show his underwear. You know, I, I gave up on that a long time ago, and I'm just giving America what it wants to see, apparently. From King Mild, every time I see these two, they're always just hanging out. Did Brian Cranston adopt Aaron and Paul? Uh, he's young enough to be my son. I wonder, I, it's got to be wild to getting to this point in life where, like, you're that famous and, like, the weird shit that people <laughs> fucking will ask you. No, we did clash a lot on Breaking Bad, but I love the guy. He's just a great human being. And we're business partners now in, in Dos Hombres. There is a rumor that we have matching tattoos, but that's that's not a rumor. It's we have matching piercings. He's also like low key funny. Like I feel like he, he's not I don't feel like he's known for his comedic value, but he is super funny. Wikipedia. Cranston was ordained as a minister. I'm going to keep it real. I, I'm all for this video, but the way that they're showing this stuff is making me want to throw up. At the Universal Life Church and performed weddings for $150 a service to help with his income. True. I think I was 19 years old when I first started doing that on Catalina Island when I was spending my summers working. Unbeknownst to the me... Cat of the fucking Catalina wine mixer? Uh, I, I didn't realize how easy it was to do to do that. You simply fill in the application, send it to the Secretary of State of whatever state you're in, and you are ordained. <clears throat> Bless you. Instagram. Will there ever be a Malcolm in the Middle season eight? I don't know if there's going to be a season, but we're talking. Everybody would love to come back and explore what those characters are doing 20 years That'd later. be so sick. So we're excited by the possibility that there will be a Malcolm. I would actually, middle. I'm not like too into shows, but that would be dope. Reboot or maybe a film or we don't quite know, but there's a possibility. It has to be something substantial and important. So we'll see. That's sick. Reddit. Oh God, I'm sure you get some wild stuff on Reddit. Can Brian Cranston play Hugh Hefner in a Playboy biopic? I'm looking at two pictures, one of me and one of Hugh, and there Jesus. is some similarities. So I think the answer would be yes. And boy, the research would be fun. Brian Cranston, I'd like to play Willie Dude, Nelson. Funny as We're fun. both old and wrinkled. <laughs> I think I said that on The Tonight Show recently. I think I was asked this just on the street from some interviewer or something like that. What famous person would you like to play? I don't know why, Willie Nelson. I, I probably saw a picture of him or something, and I thought, yeah, I could probably play him at my age now. I'd have to really strongly increase my marijuana intake, though. You'd have to be high as fuck. And now, something called Cuora. The hell is Cuora? How did Brian Cranston come up with Walter White's voice from Breaking Bad series? I opened my mouth and started speaking. Yeah, what? And what I did <laughs> is I patterned Walter White no, after shit. my father, who was 30 years older than me. I felt that Walter White was older than his actual years. The way he carried himself, the way he, he was burdened by society, he felt like a much older man than he really was. So I thought, I think if I just take on... God, watching this just makes me wish Breaking Bad was still on TV. The, the characteristics of my father... Or, like, still more going. rounded shoulders for an older man. A deeper, deeper voice. 
uh, that'll do it. That'll convey what I'm hoping to convey. And then when he transitions into becoming Heisenberg, his shoulders go back, his voice goes stronger and becomes more formidable to his enemies. I often get asked if I miss playing him, and I, I really don't. It's the feeling Really? That That's... I wonder, I guess, if you're, like, immersed in it for so long, maybe it does get old to, like, want to do that stuff. You fully expressed yourself while the series was going on, and you spent it all while you were there. It's almost like the same of, like, leaving it all in the field for sports. I wonder if, like, that's a similar feeling for acting. And I thought the Vince Gilligan wrote a beautiful beginning, middle, and end to that series and so I didn't feel like I needed more and then all of a sudden he called me and said we're doing this movie El Camino which is the continuation of where the Jesse Pinkman character goes I said absolutely I'll do whatever you want so I'm um, Walter White shows up in there then they do Better Call Saul and we get a call for the last season we'd love you to come in and do it okay sure and then I become Walter White again recently we did a popcorners commercial <laughs> for the Super Bowl, and I'm playing Walter White again. So even though I don't miss him, I don't get a chance to miss him. He keeps coming back into my life. I think this character became so wonderfully and strangely iconic, surprising to me, that he's kind of separated himself from the rest of the things that I do. So I feel good about that. And yeah, I don't feel like there's... I mean, the, him playing in Malcolm in the Middle was definitely like... You remember it, but not nearly as iconic as Walter White. It was one of the most important turns in my career to take on that role and to do that. It changed the trajectory of my career for sure. I wonder how much he gets paid for. YouTube. Uh, Breaking Bad. Jonathan Cahoon writes in, would love to hear him talk about his role on How I Met Your Mother and what was up with his character's obsession with bushes. One of the funniest scenes of the whole show. Jonathan, I don't remember. I have no idea. I like bushes, apparently. The Danielle most subtle King fucking answer. <laughs> writes in, the cast of Asteroid City is insane. Margot Robbie, Tom Hanks, Scar Joe, Brian Cranston. I wonder if they all got along. <laughs> they had to keep us separated. Asteroid City was what actors long for. It was like going to actors camp. Asteroid City is the second film I did with Wes Anderson. The first one was Wait, I Asteroid Dark. City? That what is that? experience was... Hold on, give me a sec. I'm looking this up on my phone because I have never heard of this. Is this a newer film, Asteroid City? Oh, it is a 2023. Oh, it's out right now? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. I was going to say, that's a, that's a lot of big name actors. Considerably different because yeah, it is out right now. in that one, you're behind a microphone. I was in a room with Wes and Bill Murray, Jeff Goldblum, and Ed Norton, Bob Balaban. I think we finished the entire movie in two to three days. Just, we just rolled right through it. Whereas doing live action, it takes considerably more. And Wes, as you know, is, is very specific in his direction and his art direction so how the film looks is equally important to him okay so it's not a lot actual is it true film? that brian cranston majored in police science in college it is true however that changed my counselor said you need to take elective courses so i took an acting class first day i got a scene that read a couple is making out on a park bench and i thought Oh my God, this is crazy. My job in that class was to kiss this pretty girl. And it just made my head spin. You look back on it and it's like it kind of embarrassing, but the libido of a 19 year old boy sort of reset my direction of where I wanted to go in my career. And at a certain point I, I realized, okay, if I'm really gonna do this, I better learn how to get really good at it. And if I were to give a piece of advice to anyone who is thinking of entering into the arts as a career, I would say make sure you're willing to make a lifelong commitment to that relationship. 
And if you're willing to do that, then you really should try. Uh, if you're not willing to say, I'm all in, then do it as a hobby. Jesus, well, that's I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting that to get that, that serious. Thank you. I'm Brian Cranston, and I'm signing off the internet. Let's fucking do up. This kid, the dude on the right, the, uh, Will Poulter, when he was a younger kid in Chronicles of Narnia, I wanted to punch him in his face. I really just liked him when he was younger. So I he has he plays a lot better roles now. I will say that. Uh, maybe we'll watch that one actually at some point. Uh, but this was Brian Cranston answers your questions, not ours. But uh, make sure that if you like this, or if there's other uh, British GQ people that we should watch, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but go ahead and like this uh, and subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.